Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the game options string, the parse option node. This is our parse option node. It allows us to check and see if we have a key. Well, it doesn't. It looks through our option string. It looks for the key we provide it, and then it returns back the value associated with it. It does not validate whether you have that key or not. Generally, you'll pass in your option string from your game mode into the options option, and then you'll type in your key or pass in your key value that you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to look for blah. Note, this is not case sensitive. So let's do B, L, A, and let's do it all lowercase. So it's all lowercase blah. If we go up here and we look, we're passing in an uppercase blah to our open level. You know what? We'll just do it all uppercase. Make it even easier. Now when I run this, load my map and print my option string, we have a key of blah parse the option, and I print out nothing. Well, of course, I don't have an actual value associated with that key. I have my key, blah, but I don't have an out value after it. So we'll do value. Why not? We'll run it again. Load the map so we have our option string. Blah is our key. Value is our value. Parse the option, and you'll notice it prints out value now. So it's going to print out whatever is after that key, which are key or blah. And again, it's not case sensitive. So it's useful when you pass in something and then you want to know what the actual value is. Keep in mind it's going to print out a string. It's not case sensitive and it's simply going to return back whatever we have in that option. And that's it. That is our parse option node. 